guys, my name is Victor Pigmentati and um, today I want to show you how to unbox or set up your strobe light for flash photography, studio flash photography or strobe. And um, I have here, this is like um, almost new. So um, I have here Good Docs D300. I don't know if you can you know, have the power to like, carry it down or oh, I'm showing you so yeah, first and foremost this is your strobe and um, you want to like learn how to set it up you stand it and, and yeah, why this is protected is because of the lamp avoid you touching it so that's the lamp and um, this lamp sustains for it. Why it is there is for continuous lighting, so for you to see your object um, before the flash. So mind you, don't make physical contact. Do you get? Please. So yeah, that is why it is always advisable to cover it when not in use. But um, for today. So you first want to like release this because this is like where the tripod would enter. So you want to like go like this and then you want to screw the knob here to tighten it to the tripod and then you want to lock it so it doesn't move. So yeah. Oops. So um, another thing to bear in mind is that this is your light and um, if you know you're not fast at um, setting it up, you can set it down and then remove it but it is not advisable to leave it down because you might have children or people that don't really know how delicate this is so yeah, so you want to like spread the legs of your tripod and yeah. So yeah, once this is done, we are like almost halfway there And yeah, you have the time to remove this and then you add it. If you look closely, you see where like for likes go. So you go and then you twist right to lock it. When you hear the pop, that means it's locked. So yeah, and here we go. So yeah, we have. Um, So we have a couple of buttons here, we have a model, we have um, sound, we have slave, we have text and then we have the sync card and then we have a digital display and then we have the cord. So you plug it. Um, I'm just gonna like find where to plug it yeah so I've plugged it and yeah it is on can you see? Exactly. So it, it just takes seconds to like set up. Just make sure you bear in mind the lamp. Do not touch it. Physical contact is a no no. Then you're always remember to cover it back when not in usage. So I'm I'm quickly gonna like run you through. I don't know if you can see this. So yeah, this is testing and we have this knob 
from minimum to maximum shows the intensity of the light so here it is off now 5.0 means the intensity goes 5 point so it goes from 5.0 to 7.0 so this is like going to be really harsh and intensive and yeah really intense so yeah let's try this let's put it at 5.5 and then let's test it wow can you see so that's for 5.5 and if you're like me i really don't like the sound so you have a sound button so if you press it, it goes off can you see like that and yes this lamp the continuous light as the, the second knob um on your left is for the lamp and so it goes from minimum to maximum minimum can shut to like the first minimum and then to maximum so and yeah and the model button is for you to switch off the lamp if you don't want the lamp so it's it's pretty straightforward it's something you will get even while you're sleeping so yeah and make sure the slave is on so you can like put your trigger connect your trigger to to it so basically yeah we have um we have it set up and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to match your strobe light to a soft box and now to set your soft box up for your next shoot you know i'm still your one and only victor Akime daisy and um welcome and yeah please make sure you like comment share and subscribe and tell your friends because it's going to be really interactive it's going to be really impressive i'm going to take you for trust me i'm going to take you from a no photographer to a photographer to be reckoned with and it's all in the mind if you're ready all right